This is a follow along warm up for Lindy Hoppers and Balboa dancers. I'm Lainey and this is what I use to warm up before contests or classes or if I'm just feeling stiff from a long day of dancing. So I'm going to start with some neck rolls. I'm going to roll my neck to the right, drop it down in front, and then to the right. And to get to the middle, I'm going to switch and go to the left. Nice and slow. Then I'm going to go to the right and add just my shoulders. And to the left and add just my shoulders. And then to the right, I'm going to add a little bit more of my back. This feels good. Maybe I'll do two. And then I'm going to go to the left. Take your time here. If something feels good, go ahead and repeat a certain type of roll. Then I'm going to end up to the right. I'm going to bend from my hips. And then I'll take it to the left. I want to make sure my feet are about hip width apart and facing forwards. Next, I'm going to add in my arms just a little bit. I'm going to start with my low bend. I'm going to go to the right, bring my arms up and over. Maybe I'll do one more rainbow and sunshine arms. And we'll go to the left, up and over, and up and over. When we reach the bottom, we're going to slowly roll up. And then I'm going to arch my way down. And I'll slowly roll up. And I'm going to turn sideways so you can see this. And I'm going to arch my way down. My head is leading all the movements and I arch my way down. And now I'm going to switch that. I'm now going to roll my neck down and I'm going to take my head and I'm going to push up and I'm going to roll my neck down. And I'm going to push my way up. I just try to think of each vertebrae in my spine moving individually and slowly so that I just loosen up all the muscles in my back and my torso. All right, now I'll take some shoulder rolls and squeeze up to your ears and back and up and back. We will add a little elbow. And then we'll straighten the arms. Good. And now I'm going to go the other way, forwards with the shoulder rolls. I'm going to add in my elbows. And then I'm going to straighten my arms. We're going to go to a little bit of our feet and then work our way back up. So I want to imagine that I keep my feet a little closer together at this moment. And so I want my feet to be a little narrower than hip width right now. And I want to lift my toes off the floor as much as I can. I'm engaging the arch of my foot. And then I'm going to put my big toe on the floor and then try to put my pinky toe on the floor and then spread the rest of my toes on the floor. I like to do this a couple times or lift all my toes, spread them out, kind of like I'm spreading my fingers, but my toes, and then try to isolate, bringing my toes to the floor. All right, now I'm gonna take a little bit of some lift and down and lift and down. Let's just kind of get our balance working here. I wanna think of squeezing my abdomen together and keeping my shoulders over my hips and that's going to help my balance here. The goal is not how high, it's how controlled we can lower. Great. Now let's take a little bit of some ankle rolls. I'm going to roll out my right foot. 
Let's switch directions. And now I'm going to take my hip. I'm going to roll my hip. <laughs> and let's switch directions. We're going to do that again on the other leg. I'm going to turn around this time so you can see from another angle. We're going to start with the ankle roll. And then we'll switch directions. And now let's take the hips. And then we'll switch directions. <laughs> okay, that can be a tricky one. <laughs> All right, now let's just do a little bit of our, um, our torsos. And I'm going to think, keep my hands on my hips so they stay very still. And I'm going to pop forwards and back. Pop my chest forwards and back. Front and back and front, back. And now I'm going to go side, side. Side, 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 side. Now let's go front, right, back, left, front, right, back, left. Now we're going to switch front, left, back, right, front, left, back, right. And now smooth that out. And now we'll smooth it out the other way. Now let's just take a little bit of some rotation. Try to squeeze your butt, squeeze your hips so the rotation is happening higher in your body. So now let's even bring it up even higher and let's just think of our shoulders rotating. And now I'm gonna add my middle back. And now I'm gonna add my hips and soften my knees as I add my hips. And now I'm gonna take away my hips and then I'll take away my middle back. Next, we're going to do a little jumping and prancing exercise to get our whole body warming up. Prancing is I want to make sure that I land my toe through my heel with a soft knee and toe to my heel on a soft knee, almost like a slow march. And then I'm speeding this up. It's a soft landing as I take that step. I'm really imagining that I'm releasing into the floor through these movements instead of springing up. I'm relaxing down into the floor as I step and release. Now I can take that with two feet with just like a small jump. Jump and bounce, jump and bounce. This one's more for my Lindy Hop first. Jump and bounce, jump and bounce, jump and bounce. And as I'm landing, I have my toe, heel, and then my weight stays a little more forwards on my feet as I have my knees bent and my butt back in that Lindy Hop squat position. The last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna open our chest up. So I wanna take my hands and clasp them behind my back. I'm gonna roll my shoulders back and I'm going to open up my chest to the sky. I wanna tuck my stomach in as I squeeze my butt. So I'm thinking of supporting this slight arch with my upper back. I'm just gonna breathe here, open my shoulders. And then I'm ready, arms up and arms down. And now I'm all warmed up and ready to dance. 